Can we talk about former Memphis running back Antonio Gibson? We have him at 16. Mm. He's never not been an RB1. And we have him at running back 16. And we're higher on him than the consensus. ESPN yeah. has him at 22. Fantasy Pros has him at 21. Again, we have him at 16. He's going at pick 46, which is towards the end of the fourth round. Pretty good value, right? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I, I Everywhere I've seen is it's going to be McKissick on third downs. And if that's the case... Do we I mean, know why, though? Because Gibson was a wide receiver in college. Like, he if, has good hands. He's incredibly may, fast. I don't understand that. If McKissick would have played a full season and not gotten hurt last year, he would have had a more than 100 receptions. Okay, spread that around to give, give some to Gibson, then. I, I mean, I, I don't... I wouldn't be mad about it. I just... I don't know if the work is there. I don't know if this offense is any good. Like Carson Wentz is now a journeyman starting quarterback. It's yes, still it's the best better than any quarterback that I know. Antonio and Gibson's played with. And if you listen to the quarterback podcast, we literally go through, or even the Terry McLaurin wide receiver podcast that he's on. We literally went through the entire list of starting quarterbacks that Terry McLaurin has had to throw to him. And it's trash. Trash. Like, that's it. It's, it's, it's hot trash. Um, but still, it's not it's not great right now. It's not great. And Gibson hasn't really stayed healthy. He's kind of had nagging toe injuries and I don't know. I, I think we honestly will probably move him down below our next guy. See, I don't know if I agree. Like, well, hmm. yeah, I, I want to argue that. Uh, I'll build some suspense for that. So Gibson, when I was preparing the sack of sheet, which by the way, you can get on our website at the fantasy football psychos.com and you should do it. The like he was getting drafted in the middle of the end of round two. And now he's getting drafted at the end of round four. Like nothing's really changed all that much. He's playing with the best quarterback he's ever played. He had 10 total touchdowns last year. He had the fourth most carries in football, the sixth most rushing yards, 16th most catches, 20th in points per game. Okay. So you go. So this is all about drafts, right? The only like the reason people are watching this is to talk drafts, draft strategy. You go receiver, receiver. Yuck. Say you're, say you're picking, you're picking in the second half of the first round. You got Jamar Chase staring at you. You pull the trigger because you don't want to draft Najee Harris because he's going to be running back eight on the season that you have to draft in the first year, in the first round. So you go Jamar Chase, and then in the second round, you're like, oh, my God, CeeDee Lamb is there. Holy crap, I got both my receivers locked up. Let's do it. Uh, so you, you're sitting there with Chase, CeeDee Lamb. Round three comes by. Holy crap, Lenny Fournette's there. Holy crap, Zeke's there. You pull on, you pull the trigger on one of those dudes. And so now your zero RB strategy, maybe not technically zero, it's kind of hybrid because you're going, you're not, you didn't fill out your flex or your tight end or your quarterback. But you pull the trigger on Zeke and now you just need a second running back. I think there's going to be a lot worse teams out there than like Chase, Lamb, Zeke, or Lenny and. Uh, Antonio Gibson. He's a fine second running back. He's actually probably, I mean, he has the upside. Like you've said, he finishes as an RB1. He has the upside to finish as an RB1. There's a lot of RB2s that don't have that upside. That's true. I mean, he's currently going behind David Montgomery, James Conner, Bryce Hall, Brees Hall, I should say, Travis Etienne. Like, that's, I take him over most of those guys, probably not all of them. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, you're, that's pretty good value for where he's falling. I just don't, I just don't understand why he's being hated on as much as he is. 